I uh, just making a quick video. This is a Goal Zero uh, Yeti 1000 core. Something I've seen uh, a lot of comments online. Uh, people saying that these the MPPTs that a lot of these new uh, Yetis have are just uh, you know they either have problems with them, uh, they claim they're def defective, or that they're just you know absolute crap. Um, something I've I've kind of figured out here is that um, a lot of this, as you see it just go to zero there, a lot of um, the issues people are having are related to um, voltage drop across the wiring. So, you know, basically from the panel to the, to the Yeti, if you got some, uh, some long uh, cords and, you know, they're not uh, heavy gauge and uh, you got, you know, adapters there, it goes again, you got some adapters and just whatever, you know, you don't have uh, just a real short, tidy, heavy gauge uh, connection between your panel and your, uh, your Yeti. Um, you can get this issue, right? It's not something that's like, you know, wrong with the MPPT. I mean, you can make the argument that, yeah, some other brands, the, their MPP, MPPTs wouldn't uh, have this issue and they can kind of uh, deal with it. But the thing is, it's not like defective and it's not like um, crap, right? Um, it's not broken. So just to demonstrate this for you, as you've seen it kind of drop out um, a few times already, is that I've actually just like hooked up this like excessively long uh, cord. Um, and uh, so what we'll do uh, right quick here is... Uh, just unplug it. And uh, plug in the HPP uh, adapter here. And see what we got. Now it is like uh, overcast outside, so uh, we do see a, a jump in uh, input for one, but uh, it could just be that, you know, the clouds are kind of, uh, there's varying clouds outside, so, but generally I do see a, a slight increase as well, like, you know, maybe around five watts, um, but the main thing you'll notice is that it's completely stable, right? So I basically just got this, uh, I don't know, it's like three foot cord or something like that. And it's a heavier gauge as well than that extension that I showed you. That extension was like a 10 foot, um, I don't know, maybe 16, 16 gauge. This is like a three foot 14 gauge. And uh, yeah, so there it is, right? I mean, it's uh, completely solid. You don't have those dips. You know, so basically, if you're experiencing any dips with your MPPT, and uh, sometimes it'll make like a chirping sound too, um, either it'll dip like halfway down, or it'll just dip to zero, as you saw earlier in the video. Um, just check your wiring, right? Like, just check it and try to shorten it, try to make it heavier gauge. And, uh, and I have found that occasionally, Sometimes even that's not enough. If that's not enough, then you, what you really need to do is just realign your solar panels, right? Because I've seen also if you don't have your solar panels aligned, like to the sun, um, if you have them like completely flat or just like, you know, like angled the other way for whatever reason, um, and it, they're not pushing out enough amps, that can do it as well. But generally, if you just fix your wiring, um, you're not going to have any problems with these MPPTs.